Welcome back to my channel. I'm Neha Parasha, working in a healthcare company and based in Germany. In today's video, we'll talk about two kind of safety update report called DSUR and PSUR. But before we jump to DSUR and PSUR, do you know what is safety report? Health authorities are very much concerned that they know the safety profile of our drug not only before the approval, but also after the drug is approved. So there are some obligations that pharmaceutical companies need to submit the safety data to health authorities on some specific interval before the approval or even after the approval so that health authority can evaluate if there is any alert or alarming situation with the use of the drug. To understand what are these two safety update reports are, that means the PSUR and DSUR, we should break the term. DSUR meaning Development Safety Update Report. PSUR meaning Periodic Safety Update Report. Now let's see each of it one by one. DSUR is the safety update report for drugs under development. We need to submit safety update report to health authorities for such developmental drug on some specific interval. This concept came in 2010 when ICH finalized the guideline called E2F. Earlier, there was a separate safety report that was used in US and EU. But then this ICH brought the new concept in 2010 of DSUR to harmonize the submission. This guideline replaced the previous IND annual report in US and annual safety report in EU. In US, we used to submit the safety report annually, which was called as US IND annual report. And in EU, this report was known as EU annual safety report. Now this DSUR has replaced both these national document and one harmonized document called DSUR can be submitted in all the ICH countries. Then coming to PSUR. PSUR is the safety update report for drug after approval. That means once the drug is already in market. In 2012, ICH guideline E2C was devised and this term PSUR was replaced by a new term called PEBRAR, Periodic Benefit Risk Evaluation Report. Now you must be wondering, in, it is just a change in name or anything further changed with this replacement from PSUR to PEBRA. What is new in the PEBRA? So it's with the same focus on safety report, but additionally now the benefit to risk of the drug will also be evaluated in detail in this document called PEBRA, which needs to be fully justified. This benefit risk evaluation need to be fully justified as part of the PEBRA, which was not into a detailed focus with PSUR. And why the focus is on benefit risk evaluation? Because at the time of clinical trial, we study the drug on limited number of patients. Therefore, we submitted the, when we submitted the MA, the benefit risk analysis is done at that time however when we actually use the drug after approval on larger population we generate new data and if old data old benefit risk analysis data is still valid or not this is something needs to be assessed as part of PEBR evaluation of course the format of PEBRAR is also different from PSUR to include this benefit evaluation and benefit risk analysis. So this was all about PSUR and DSUR. Before we end this video, do you know at what interval do we need to submit DSUR and PSUR? What is this concept called International Birth Date IBD and Developmental International Birth Date which is called as DIBD? What are these concepts? If you know the answer then let me know in the comment section but if not then don't worry. We'll discuss about this concept in my next upcoming video. Till then, let's stay tuned for the upcoming videos.